everybody. Today I'm going to be showing you guys a uh, new video. It's going to be a tutorial video on how to make custom Rocket League decals. A lot of people have been asking me about this and uh, yeah, it's really not that hard of a process. I'm going to be teaching you guys uh, step by step how to do it, show you all the downloads, show you everything you need, and you guys can create your own, your own designs, your own uh, personal ones, and yeah. So uh, let's just jump right into it. So to start with, uh, you're going to want to go ahead and download a uh, few things. For one, you're going to want to have a file navigation system like when RAR or I think Windows Explorer works but when RAR is pretty good you could download different stuff um, you also want to download uh, a notepad at that uh, most computers come installed with a notepad so if you look up notepad you come up with this uh, so you want to have those two things to start because uh, you will need to be editing files and editing some of the coding the second set of things you want to download is going to be online that is very bright <laughs> Uh, basically, you want to download uh, Bacchus Mod. I'll link all this in the description. You want to download Bacchus Mod. That's going to be very important. This is how you get all the decals together. Uh, the second thing you want to download is Alpha Console Plugin. Now, this will also be linked down below. And you just want to hit this big blue button that says Install with Bacchus Mod. It's going to install it right into your plugins, and it'll be right there for you. Uh, it has a bunch of different stuff, but this is the main way how you get custom decals. Uh, this was added like a while back, like back in the day. But then the Alpha Console died. <laughs> But now it's back, and you can make custom decals. And the third thing you want to do uh, is going to be downloading a basic template. Now, I link someone else's video. This is Hurricane Modding. This is how I learned how to do it. This guy is great. Check out his stuff. I'll link it down below. But if you go to this video and you scroll down here, you want to download the Easy Decal Folder Download. And if you hit this, it's going to pull up the Discord, and it's going to download it right there for you. Now, this is going to be the file that you're going to be using. There's a lot of other stuff with this. I might do a follow-up and have a more advanced, but this is the basic Octane template that you will be uh, editing, basically, through multiple softwares. Um, now, another thing you want to download is Paint.net. Paint.net is a great source. It's basically Paint, you know, MS Paint, basically like that, where you can um, edit, upload, and download, uh, download uh, pictures and stuff like this, and um, this is where you'll be editing all the decals. Now, once you have all those in, you have Bacchus Mod downloaded, Alpha Console downloaded, all the plugins are in and good. You can start, basically, you can already start on the decal. Um, when you open this up, you're going to see three different files. Uh, well, first of all, you're going to see a folder. The folder, basically, is what you're going to initially drop into Rocket League. So before you even start uh, designing the decal, you're going to want to locate your Bacchus Mod. Once that opens up, uh, you can go... So here, hit File, hit Open Bacchus Mod Folder, and it's going to bring you to your files here. Now, what you want to do is you want to go to Data, AC Plugin, Decal Textures. Now, I already have some textures here because this is this these are the ones that I've been making, and I have some more in the works. Um, now, you're going to see this Textures Package. Leave that in this folder. Um, you're also going to see three other files. This is the default decal that they put in there that Alpha Console has. It's a Hyper Beast. You can put these three things into its own folder and it'll still work as a decal. Um, it kind of, it just kind of cleans up this folder because this is where, this is where you'll be making each and every one. Um, now, once you have the um, easy decal downloaded, all you want to do is take this and drag and drop it into here. It's just, that's all you got to do. Drop it right into the folder and that'll automatically put it into Rocket League. Now, if you load up Rocket League with obviously Bacchus Mod injected and Alpha Console as a plugin, you can see that the Hyper Beast and the easy decal will both be decals that you can uh, put on. So if you load up Rocket League here, uh, you can see if we throw on an Octane. Uh, you can see if you go here. Now, okay. Basically, to turn on uh, Alpha Console plugin. So F2 opens up this, which you can put on custom items on. This is back on. If you hit F5, this will test to make sure your plugin is installed. You can also go to F2, go to plugins, and you'll see Alpha Console right here. You can hit toggle menu. Or you can just hit F2 and it'll bring up, or you can hit F5 and it'll bring up this menu. Then you want to go Cosmetics, and you want to go down to Decal Texture Mod. Uh, you can just kind of take all these out. These don't matter, uh, at least for today. We're not going to be editing any of these or using any of those at all. You want to focus on the Decal Texture Mod. Now, what you want to do is go here, and you see Easy Decal, Your Decal Name. This is the default template that you'll be using. And see, the car is white now, which means it's a completely default template that has nothing on it so it defaults it to white because that's what it just starts with um yeah so from here uh we want to edit this decal now that all the coding all the coding is already in place 
uh, it's already going to load up in Rocket League, which is very helpful. So all you got to do is edit the texture. So you can close out. Well, you, you can keep Rocket League open. It, I would recommend keeping it open because uh, then it will help with um, like seeing what you're editing and seeing it live on your car. It's going to be very important to keep that open. Uh, but basically, you want to open up Easy Decal and you see three different files here. You see the Octane Decal, Octane Diffuse, and Easy Decal. The Octane Decal, you will not edit this at all. This this just stays as it is. Um, this just basically makes the car uh, appear correctly, uh, and it, and you can do different stuff on this. Um, if you put like like yellow and blue, it'll make it like shiny or anodized stuff like that. Um, the only one we're gonna be editing today is Octane Diffuse, and then the uh, Notepad file. Now with the Notepad file, it's gonna you're gonna see all this stuff. Leave this alone. <laughs> the only thing, just leave all this coding. This is how it grabs all the stuff and knows what you're putting in. The only thing I want to change is this. Now, it's up to you. It doesn't really matter. It's just the name of it. But you can change this. Let's say I want to make it Spyro Deco. There we go. You hit X, you hit save, and you go back into Alpha Console. You can see if we refresh it, go just to refresh your decals, just go back to default. Um, and then you can see right here, uh, easy decal, Spyro decal. And it's going to be the exact same thing of white. Um, you can also edit the name of this. So if you look at here, you can say easy decal dash spiral decal. Uh, you can edit that uh, basically by changing this file name. You can just call it um, decal. Uh, yeah, then you just go to decal spiral decal. It's the same thing. Uh, so we'll just be leaving it like that. But now we get on to the actual decal design part. This part's fun. Okay, it's, it's really fun. Honestly, uh, I love doing these. It's so much fun. Basically, right click, uh, hit open with, and you want to go to paint paint.net or just drag it into paint.net. Bippity boppity. There you go. So a few things I'm starting here. Uh, you can see a lot of these textures are very, uh, like, sad. <laughs> like, they, they don't look like textures at all. They just look like rough freaking outline. So what you can do, you can go down here at the bottom right of the screen. Uh, you hit add layer, drag it underneath. Grab a paint bucket and paint it black. That makes all the colors pop out and lets you uh, allows you to easily see what you're editing. Um, now I'm pretty. You can just leave this on because if we save this now, okay. Every time you save the file, you're gonna wanna change this from paint.net to PNG and copy it. Copying over is very important because then it replaces the decal and it reloads it onto your car. Also, whenever you're doing this, don't close paint.net. Because when you save it as a PNG, it will flatten all the layers and you're not able to edit it anymore. Uh, which we want to edit each layer individually and be able to change it afterwards if we do mess up or we want to change something. So that's going to be important. But you save this, hit yes to replace it, okay, and flatten. Now don't close this. If you want to unflatten it, just go back. And there you go. Layers are separate. Um, then we go back into Rocket League. Uh, you can just reset it and it'll be still the exact same. So you can leave that black layer on because then it'll kind of make it pop and it'll make it a lot easier. But going back into paint.net, um, we can see that we're going to want to edit another layer above background. Uh, we're going to leave background as it is because this is how you can see each and every layer of each and every texture. Now, the main things with this, uh, you can kind of see the octane layout. This part right here is the main hood and then the sides. Um, you can see this indent right here is that right there. You can also see that this main hood right here is obviously this here. All right, so back to designing the decals. Basically, designing the decal, honestly, ain't that bad. There are a few ways you can do this. Obviously, you can see that each of these different textures are gonna be overlaid onto the car. This is the main hood and the sides. Um, this is the back uh, tail, the like, you know, <laughs> uh, and then this is also, oh my God, this is also part of the back tail. Um, and these are the side flaps underneath the side flaps and the back covers of the wheels. So honestly, the easiest way to do this, all right, here, I'll show you, I'll show you an example. Something you can do is you could literally just take, uh, here, I'll, I'll hide my camera for a second. You can just take a color. Let's say, let's say I want a gray car. Right, let's throw on a gray. Then let's say, hmm, what do I want for the secondary? Let's make it black. And then you take a gradient and you do a black to gray fade. Mm -hmm. 
So now with this, you just save it, right? Boom, PNG, save, replace it, okay, flatten. Now, go back into Rocket League. You can see, and bippity boppity. Look at the black car. It's a black and gray car. And honestly, it looks pretty cool. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's like a super simple way to do it. What do we just how we did it? You can do it the exact same way. So if we'll take a, look, a closer look at this, uh, you can see that the main area is mostly black with the sides and flaps being gray, tops of these being gray, and the middle part being black. So this is divided up along different sections. So basically, uh, you can look at this front area. This is all going to be black with a slight hint of gray. Uh, but that's because that's 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 uh, just based on where it is in the gradient. Um, and then this area right here, down in this section, is the back tail. Now because it's at the bottom, it's going to be black as well, which makes it completely black. Now these top flaps and then all of these side panel flaps are all up here. All of this is in the gray section of the gradient. Now this is a super simple way to make it, and honestly. It doesn't look that bad. It looks pretty sick. Looks very clean and very nice. Uh, but if you want to do more um, like intricate decals and stuff like that, you're going to have to individually edit each section. So uh, to do that, again, it, it it's really not that hard. Uh, you could take, let's say I want this section. I want this main part of the hood to be completely purple. All you gotta do is highlight this section using the rectangular select tool. You can see at the top or just hit S and you select all this main area. Now I want to go to uh, paint bucket, select purple down at the bottom left. You can't hear, I'll, I'll move this over here. Smart spiral. You select, uh, you go to the primary and you select purple and then you paint bucket it. And there you go. Make sure with the bottom left of the screen, bottom right of the screen actually pranked. <laughs> Make sure you're always editing on a different layer. Uh, that's going to be very important. Uh, and then you, you just save this. Look at this. Bippity boppity. PNG. Save. Yes. Okay. Flatten. And refresh the car by going to default and then Spire Decal. And there we go. The main portion of the car is now purple. Um, this is a super simple way, obviously, to make these decals. Uh, this is how I made the spiral one, which I'll, I'll show you guys. The uh, here's the spiral with the uh, the spiral logo. It's kind of the same thing, but you just throw this, the logo on the front, and then you have different things uh, coming around the edges and pink around the sides. Now, uh, doing this, it, it very simple process. You could just do the um, full colored, uh, just hard colors. You can add gradients. The gradient tool is just right here, which is G. We can literally do the exact same thing, except uh, we don't do paint bucket and we do a gradiency. Let's see, we want purple with a pink. With a pink, there we go. And there we go, purple pink fade. We save this, PNG, save, yes. Okay, flatten. We go back into Rocket League, refresh it. And what do you got? You have a purple pink fade easy as that this is a super simple process it just takes a little bit of time uh you gotta kind of know which um which portions of the car uh relate to which um thing which uh like which which portions of the car relate to which portions on the template uh it's also harder to do it with um like diff other it, it's harder to do it with other different cars um, breakouts different Dominus is different they don't have every single car I will also link a database where you can find the templates for the cars and the decals and throw them in and yeah then you then you can edit those too uh, but basically uh, we'll finish up this model um, but that's the, that's like the main thing or um, what you can do is you can individually edit portions of the car this is the front portion of the car the very tip of the hood let's say I just want this to be black we simply do this on the third layer, take a paint bucket, and there, that's purple. <laughs> black, boop, nope, black, boop, there we go, it's black, save, PNG, save, yes, okay, flatten, there we go. We go back into here, we refresh it, and there we go, it's black. It is a pretty simple process that literally anybody can do. <laughs>
<laughs> yeah, uh, I mean, that's basically all. I mean, there's not much really more to say. Uh, this is more of an exploratory process where you kind of figure out uh, how the template relates to the car in, like, uh, by yourself mostly. Because, um, you know, obviously you can do literally any design you want. One of the other easiest things to do is just, let's say, let's say, let's pull up Chrome here, right? We have Chrome. We just look up pattern. Look up pattern, go to images, and let's just grab the first pattern we find. Uh, or one of the first patterns. Here we go. This pattern. We simply copy this, copy image, switch back to paint.net, go to layer three, and paste it on. Now we just drag it to fit the whole car. And voila! You have a custom pattern, basically. Now, save this. PNG, save, yes. Okay, flatten. Refresh the car. And there you go. As you can see, this method is not foolproof. <laughs> uh, it, it does kind of freak up the windows, but it looks pretty cool, in my opinion. Now, uh, let's say you got this and you're like, oh shoot, the flip are the windows doing? <laughs> uh, you can go and edit the windows. You can, you can go into paint.net. So, uh, also, uh, if you do do that, you're gonna have to clear up some things. Uh, now, the main things you wanna delete are gonna be this section right here. You wanna delete it off of layer three, make sure you select it and then switch over to layer three so you're deleting the decal that you put over top of it. Delete, if you look back in here, it's gone, right? You also wanna delete this section right here. Now, this is gonna be a little trickier. Uh, I would suggest using the lasso tool, uh, which is very handy. Oh, great using the lasso tool so that you can get in between those pixels right there and there you go now simply highlight just over the window switch to layer three and hit Dell if you go back out you can see that that section is removed as well uh, now you want to scroll up to the top here and remove this section as well lasso tool very helpful with this you just lasso around the window and there you go hit Dell remake the layer visible Zoom out, save, PNG, save, yes, okay, flatten. Go back to the Rocket League, switch over to default, switch back to the decal, and there we go. The windows are clear, and the car looks great. It, honestly, super simple process, uh, and the car looks great. It really does look good for not that effort whatsoever. I literally took like two minutes, grabbed the decal or a pattern, and there you go. You can also throw on a Octane, which I highly suggest because then it looks just a little bit better. Like that, and there you go. You have a sick decal that looks amazing. You can do this with any pattern, any, like, anything at all, really. Uh, let's say I wanna take this, right? We can, we can completely change the decal. We just go here, uh, delete that, add a new layer, and then we simply find a different pattern. We have a steel pattern. So basically all you gotta do, you just copy image, that's it. Go back into paint.net on the third layer and paste in the image. Drag and make it larger and make sure it covers the entire screen. Now, again, you're gonna want to cut out the portions for the windows. There you go, super easy decal. PNG, save, yes, okay, flatten. Go back into Rocket League. Reload this, and bippity boppity, you get yourself a nice little squiggle decal. Yes, it's low quality, it's because it was a garbage image, but super simple decal. It, this is such an easy process, uh, and obviously you can get more in depth with it. You can do custom designs on here, you can outline a lot of this, like a lot of people will outline the edge right there, it looks, it looks really cool. Um, but I mean, yeah, that, that's really it. Let's go right here, uh, let's open paint on that back up. Uh, let's go back to this layer and let's just throw in my logo and there we go. We drop it in, we go out and all we got to do is move it down, make it smaller to fit on top of the hood and there we go. De a little cover easily added. We drop that back on, save PNG. Yes. Okay. Flatten. As always, we switch back over. Do this. 
do that, and there we go. Now the logo's on it. This is a super simple process. A lot of dragging and dropping, a lot of switching back and forth, um, but it's honestly really simple. Uh, super easy to create these yourself. Uh, I highly recommend all you guys try it out. It's really fun. I did Octane because that's like the most simple car, um, but we might do other cars in the future. But yeah, I hope this tutorial helped you guys. I'll leave a link to everything that you guys need down in the description. Alpha console, Bacchus mod, Notepad, WinRAR, um, and Rocket League. Well, I won't link Rocket League. If you don't have Rocket League, remember, this is Steam only. You can't do this on Epic Games yet. Might be able to in the future. We'll see. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, this was pretty quick. A uh, little tutorial. Uh, man, hope you guys enjoy, uh, hope this helped you guys. If you have any questions, drop me a comment. Join the Discord. Um, you can also download all the ones that I have done. And it's the same same process. You want to download the ones I've done? You just go into here, the decals. You drop, drag and drop the folder. Super simple process. Uh, anybody can do it. And definitely tell me what you guys what you guys have made. Uh, if you guys want to know, like, if you guys need any help with it, leave a comment. I would love to help you guys out with this. I'll be doing a little more. I might do a follow up on this. And if I do, stay tuned for that. But anyways, that's gonna be it for this tutorial. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, and yeah, if you guys have any questions, again. Message me. I'm here. I'm here. I'll help you guys. That's, that's what I'm here for. But you will have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.